would you ever build a bike that isn't to your taste? Revelator L. <sighs> I've so if tried. I said to you, if I said to you, right, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at with my thinking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say to you, Russ, I want you to build me a twi an old twin shocker dirt bike to go off doing uh, the Baja 1000 or whatever, or 500. I don't know. Do they still have that race over there? I want you to build me a bike that will go down the road and then I can take it in the dirt and it will be really cool as well. Would you do something like that? Well, that would be a bike to my taste. I got nothing against oh. a bike like that. And if you, you go, see, I told you, I told you we had a yeah. connection. I told if, you, you. if you, if you go, um, if you go onto our ex Harley page, you'll see we did do a sort of super motard type yeah, Dyna yeah. that yeah. you know looks like it could kind of handle the roads and a bit of field as well. Yeah. Um, but in terms of you know really building a bike that isn't to my taste. In the early days, I, I kind of tried. You know, I got some customers that had money when I you know, was very first starting, yeah. and they wanted me to do this, and they wanted me to do that, and I I almost found it impossible. I just couldn't force myself to do the work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Am I a mercenary? Are you calling war less a hooer? You, you know, money puts food on the table. So somebody yeah. comes to me with a big enough budget and says, I want you, you know, I know you can fabricate. I know you know the paint guys. I know you can yeah. do this and that. You know, you seem like a, a pretty handy bloke. I want you to do this. I might take it on as a job. You know what I mean? I might yeah. build you a fence if you pay me enough money or a raw sure. iron gate or what have you. Sure. A piece of art, you know what I mean? But um, do you like my um, deer antler lampshade, by the way? Yeah, no, no. I, I'll there you go. Talking about yeah, talk yeah. Me, uh, homemade pieces of art. Yeah. But um, the... Um, but the problem is, I have a very hard time getting creative on that. So you would have to yeah. bring me your piece of shit design and tell me exactly what you want. You know, don't ask me to choose what brake lever you want or what color yeah. the headlight rim needs to be because I don't like your bike. So I can't make that decision yeah. because I'm just not interested, mate. Sure. I, I, yeah. I can do it and I can do a beautiful job of it. If you tell me exactly how everything needs to be, sure. because I can't be part of the decision making process and I need to be able to say, well, I just gave the guy exactly what he asked for and he paid me a lot of money to do it. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, I mean, I have, I have my reputation. Thing. I'd like to say, no, no way, I'm never going to do it. And that would have been the answer 10 or 15 years ago, of course. Um, but, you know, in reality, sure. we all got to make a living. So, um, you know, I, I could be paid to do something that I'm not keen on but you'd have to tell me exactly what it is because I wouldn't yeah. be creative. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I can see that as well because you haven't, if you haven't got the, the, um, the love of doing it, then you're never going to have that, as you say, that creative spark to, you know, put your heart and mind into it. So I can, you know, it's, I can, it's almost like you'd be painting by numbers really, wouldn't you? You'd be like, okay, no, that's what you want. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll build it for you. But let's face it. If, if your heart's not in it, you know, that, that's it. I get that people, people keep saying, oh, you know, well, why don't you reinvent yourself? Why don't you, why don't you do these baggers? Why don't you do this? You know, you know, I'm you know, always moaning times are hard and can't yeah. pay the bills, blah, blah, blah. But, um, you know, every time I even sort of think about it, it's like, this is what I like. I, I haven't got yeah. the brain cells that will take me down a side alley yeah. to, to even, you know, Come up with some, you know, clever business. I mean, I'm just as likely to invent a, you know, electric toothbrush or a, you know, a yeah, motorized window shade. Or you, you know, I can't even, you know, I can't really come up with anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, as yeah. I am something for a bike that I'm not interested in. You know, I'm only into yeah. bikes because I really love the way the bikes I build look. That is yeah. why I'm here because I like the way my bikes look and. Because I'm not a git, my bikes have to go down the road. I I am totally yeah anti half the stuff in the in these AMD shows. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but you know, bikes for art's sake. You know that that brass Meccano bolt would snap off the minute yeah, yeah. you went round your first left hand bend. But the bike yeah. looks really cool, and the guy spent four hundred years hammering it out in a shed in Russia. I don't give a crap. If your bike doesn't go down the road, it isn't Absolutely. a fucking bike. 
You know yeah. what I mean? And and you know, get out a custom bike scene, or at least label your show something else. You know, yeah. motorcycle shaped sculpture event. Yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? If it's a mo yeah, if it's motorcycle art, motorcycle sculpture, fine. Do whatever you want. Yeah, but, uh, whatever you want. Yeah. But don't but don't pretend it's a bike because yeah. it isn't. And then what's insulting is, you know, everybody who's maybe perhaps on the fringes or a little less educated in terms of how a motorcycle works, they yeah. look at that and think, oh man, that guy's so great. That's such a beautiful bike. They don't realize that it, it completely non-functional. Yeah. And then you get, and then you got the nerve to call them the world's, you know, the world bike building champion. Yeah. Pfft. Says yeah. who? Says yeah. not me. You know what I mean? And if, yeah. you know, not me and people like me. Who the hell is saying this? You know what I mean? A bunch of yeah, other bike, bike shaped doctorists. You know what I mean? You know that should be completely separate. Anyway, you got me off on a on a last no, minute no. soapbox. I sneaked one in there right oh. at the last hurdle. But, but that that is a that is oh. a big bugbear of mine. You know what I mean? I love building bikes and I love being in the industry, but I hate it when you know people. You know, you say, "Oh, what do you do?" I build. Oh, like those American chopper guys, like. No, nothing like those. If yeah, they were yeah. good and if they had taste, then exactly like them. But yeah. in the meantime, no. Um, no. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's, it's and interesting. Whole, yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Because it's, it's almost like there's – it's hard to say, but it's, it's almost like they're, they're imposters in, in, in custom bike building uh, or in motorcycle culture sometimes. And you just look at it and you go – no, come on. Oh, please. You, no, no. Don't try and convince me that that is true because it isn't. Don't try and pull the wall over my eyes and say that is a great looking bike or that's, you know, whatever. Uh, and, and I'm of the same opinion, you know, and you say, you know, you either, whatever your style is, at least, first of all, be true to that style. And if you're going to make a bike, make sure it is a bike and not some you know, bloody fire engine, Christmas tree type thing, whatever, that you're going to try and, and... And then forks that seem to go on for a mile down the road. I mean, seriously, I, I, I remember seeing... Um, uh, no, who, who was it? Built them. I, I don't know. Somebody built them. And I thought, that, that's great, as long as you're just going two miles an hour uh, along a straight road. But you try and turn that bloody thing. There's no, You're not going to convince me... That, that you know handles you know when they come well, on yeah, well, yeah i mean you say that not to cut you off well yeah. he's completely to cut you off but yeah. um yeah whilst i take your point and there are cases where that is the case you can't always judge i mean i've got a friend here super super guy i've, I've run into him for years he's got the longest front end you've ever seen you know yeah. the guy's got one of them stomas that he smokes his bloody cigar through he's he's right. hardcore and he rides this thing everywhere all the time um i've got another buddy right down the road who's got some very wacky creation with a ridiculously long force you know he flew that thing into switzerland and rode it through the alps and south of france and you look at him like on that thing but but yeah. they but they can do i i'm I, I, you know i'm less about the eccentric bike building style that yeah. you know, may not be my cup of tea. I mean, I love Swedish choppers, Swede, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. real yeah. Swedish choppers. Yeah. Um, but I've never really been much into the long springers necessarily. Yeah. But at least, you know, some of those bikes, they actually ride. I'm more talking about the frail pieces of art that are, you know, braced together and, you know, leaf yeah. spring this and a, and a weird mechanism that does that. Yeah. Um, those are, those are, those are, what I find irritating. And I think a big part of it is I'm just irritated that there are people out there that pay those guys yeah. a quarter of a million dollars to put two years into making this thing that isn't a bike, it is a piece of art. I guess I'm jealous. I wish I had somebody paying yeah. me that kind of money to yeah, build yeah, something. Yeah. Um, but, you know. Well, just keep on doing what you're doing, mate. That I'll do my best. I'll keep do on doing best. what you're doing. And everybody, keep on buying your stuff and buying your parts. <laughs> yeah. that, that's what I say. Yeah, that's what I say. I Listen, say that too. Uh, Revelator X.